Hey guys, it's Chuck, and I have had a blast today playing with the new Solex app from Kelly Schrock. Uh, you can get it in Google Play Store, and uh, it is fantastic because 3DR fell a little short with Android users, and uh, the Solex app has made up for it. Right here is showing a shot of geofencing that we can now do with this app. Pretty straightforward. Throw some dots down and make yourself a fence. Cool thing about it, you can name the fences. You can have multiple fences. And you can save them for future use or even share them with other people. And Zipline is another big one for me. Uh, you can select your smart shot there. Once you selected it, you hit the select button there and it goes into the shot. And it's pretty self explanatory, pretty clear overlay. I think it's a little cluttered because this is a cinematic drone. I uh, haven't figured if you could take some of that away or not, but. I think it uh, does a really good job. Um, this was my very first zip line, uh, and it was it was fun. It was cool. I, I think it's amazing that I can do this because some guy decided he was going to make an app and bypass 3DR. So I'm really excited about it. Now the camera settings are just about the same as the original solo app. Simple, easy to use, same thing. A neat little gem in the app is you have a find my vehicle function. So if you lose your solo, all you have to do is click find my vehicle and it will give you the coordinates of where it was last seen. Now, the follow me function has a little bit different than the solo. You have to calibrate the viewing angle in order for it to work properly. I didn't get this done, but it's something that I hadn't seen before. And uh, it seems pretty straightforward, so I can't wait to get out and try that again. One of the coolest things for me is I fly a lot of cable cam saved shots. I do one shot over and over. And I was able to do a multi-point cable cam earlier in the day. And then it has a function to fly to the start of the cable. So this is it flying to the start of my earlier uh, saved cable cam. My battery got low and it went into RTL, but that was my last battery of the day, so I didn't get to see how well it worked exactly but it was working pretty good up to that point so I love the app I think it's worth picking up it has a ton of features crammed into it I haven't mentioned uh, the two new follow modes the manual point to follow and record track to follow I can't wait to try those I haven't got a chance yet don't have enough batteries three is not enough the distance fence the widgets the pitch and roll I think there's more to come guys so I'm gonna do some more tutorials on running through this app uh, and if you want to see some more subscribe otherwise thanks for watching and uh, have fun flying